Um, hello, good afternoon, brothers and sisters of Christ. You know, this morning I woke up with this song. Um, Go to the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go to the mountain that Jesus Christ is for. Go to the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere go Tell them on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born So it's a Christmas song that I heard But I never really paid attention to the lyrics So when I woke up this morning, I listened to the lyrics of it I looked at it and I listened to it But the Lord also, he didn't have me just saying Tell them on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born He had me saying, Jesus Christ is Lord he said, go till I'm on a mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go till I'm on a mountain, that Jesus Christ is Lord. So he had me saying, Lord and born. And then as I looked at the lyrics of the song, it was saying like, you know, how Jesus was born and how he, he's all, uh, he come to help the people. It was how the, the most high sent him down and, and birthed him to, to come here to help us. Like to help us even when he died for our sins, you know? That he, he came in, it all started with the birth of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ is Lord, y'all. And it started how, as I listened to the lyrics and looked at the lyrics of the song, it said how God said, send down this, the Most High had a Savior for us, and he birthed him. And you know, and you know, Jesus Christ is a spirit birthed into Mary. And he let us know that he also put his spirit on the earth as our helper, which is like the Holy, also compared to the Holy Spirit. So Jesus has been our helper from the beginning, all the way through. He helped us. He was born to be our helper. He died for our sins. He our savior. Like it all had to start with birth. Through the, he was a spirit, birth now from the Most High, a spirit which he is the Holy Spirit, and which also he's our helper. He been our helper from the first beginning. The Lord sent His Son down. His only begotten Son who died for our, for our sins as a helper. To help us from the sins we did on the earth. To help us from save, Satan. That's what the Lord telling me. So he's telling me it all start with his birth. Like his son, Jesus Christ's birth. It started with him. The Lord, the Most High, loved us so much. He sent his son to help us. And he's talking about he sent Jesus to help us, to help us. He had to birth him. He was a spirit that was given to Mary, that birthed us. He sent us help on this earth. Thank you, Lord. To help us from, to continue to help us, to save us from our sins, from within, which is Satan, that lead to Satan. He just didn't help us when he was crucified. He, he helped us way before Satan was crucified. I mean, Satan, I'll be the name of Jesus. He, he, he just, just didn't help us. The help just didn't start when he was crucified. The help started way before he was crucified. Thank you, Lord. Because <laughs> we always look at the main topic. People always look at like Jesus has, he was crucified and he died for our sins. The Lord said that is true. But people forget that he was sent down to help us before he was crucified. I'm, yeah, crucified. Say not weak in the name of Jesus. Y'all let me pray right quick too. Cause we trying to say trying to throw me out. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Hey, Kimo. 
rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Clear the atmosphere, Lord. Satan tried to throw his word in my mouth. Like when I was saying crucified, and he trying to throw Satan his name and try to switch it up with Jesus. The devil is a lie. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Dad. The Lord take care of that. We're going to keep on going, y'all. Okay, so. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. So, the Lord saying his help came before even that happened. Before he was uh, crucified on the cross and died for our sin. He said he was a helper before that even happened. He's trying to get us to stress that the Most High sent his son to help us. And he's going. that's why he gave me that song. Uh, that Christmas song Go tell them on the mountain Over the hills And everywhere Go tell them in the mountain That Jesus Christ is born And then he had me say Jesus Christ is Lord So we have to know that Jesus was born for he, The Lord sent him out He our helper He was our helper Before he even was crucified On the cross he died for our sins there, but he was helping us continuously before he got crucified. So he's trying to tell people to let you know that Jesus is our helper. And also that's what's doing with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit, he said that the Lord, he said when he granted his spirit on us, he'll send us a helper. That when he passed away, he got crucified and he passed away and he rose on the third day, he's still our helper, the whole the Holy Spirit. He said a spirit. So he's trying to stress that to everybody, that he's our helper. Because as I looked in the song, it still said helper in them said help us or something i'm gonna put the song at the bottom thank you lord and also in the song of the sand and how people bow down like how powerful the lord is like how even he was when he was a baby how they worship him how you know everything happened you know when the witnesses and everybody you know the the men that came on the camel that went to go and witness his birth and all that stuff he said how he was mighty and powerful how he bowed down how they gave him gifts and it shows you how powerful he is, how Lord he was our helper. Like they even, the Lord say they even bowed and worshiped him because they thanked the Lord that they knew. The Lord said back then those people that went to visit Mary on the horses, I mean on the horses and stuff to visit them, they knew Jesus was their helper. That they knew that the Lord sent him down to help him. So they worshiped him and they bowed and they prayed him. They, I mean they praised him. He said they did this because they knew. There was so much stuff was going on in the earth back then that Jesus, that the Most High sent the Son as a helper. They already knew. He said, just like how uh, John the Baptist and all of them, they knew. He said his people would know. He gave messages to his people to let them know that help came. Just like he gave with John the Baptist and them and how the word had spread on like um, the woman at the well. And they knew uh, a Messiah was coming. He said they knew that help was coming. Somebody, you know, the word of the Lord, they knew that help was coming, that help was coming. He said, just like I knew, he said, just like when I birthed Jesus at his birth, when I sent it down on his spirit on the earth at his birth, he said, when the men and them came and gave him, they worship him, he said, because they knew that they was they were sending help, to, that, that, that the Most High was sending help to them, that Jesus was help. So this is how he wants us to know that he's going to send us his help, that he always our helper, he help us, he help us, no matter what the situation is. He, he, get, he always give a word that he's there to help us. That he sends us help. That he's all helpful, y'all. Thank you, Lord. He said, so Jesus Christ was born. He said, over the hills and everywhere, go tell him on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Lord. See, he had me saying Lord and God. I mean, um, born. Lord and born. And he said, bring that song. Go tell them on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell them on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. So he want to stress this, y'all, that the help, he was able to say that he done never stopped giving help. He said he never stopped giving help. He always here to help. It's just people, they got to believe to receive his help. Thank you, Lord. He said, they got to believe to receive my help. He said, my, my help, he said, 
Their authority is my help. Thank you, Lord. He said, their authority is my help. Look at the Lord. This is why. Thank you, Lord. This is why I say you want to take our right hand because he don't want the Lord to help us. If he come take all our authority right hand away from us, then you know you do. Your right hand from the Lord. Then he can't help us. That's why I the Lord say he give us authority and help. He said all this will help. Your talents, your gift. He said the word of the Lord. He said, everything, the authority, everything is help from the Lord. He said, this is me, I'm your help. Thank you, Dad. And he started telling me, go tell them on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell them in the, on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. And then he said, go tell them, go tell them. Go tell him. So he got me with the sound of ghost for me to go tell you guys too this morning. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. So this is why Satan don't want you Satan want to take your right hand. Because the Lord stressed him from the beginning, even before he was crucified. He had he was helped back then through Mary. He sent his son. He was helped. He said he was everlasting, he's everlasting help. Those people back then. They knew who Jesus Christ was before he was born because the Lord was giving out a word to them and they know they needed help. He was sending help. Look, look at the Lord. He said, I'm your helper always, eternally. I'm your helper. He said, I'm here to save my people. He said, but my people perish for lack of knowledge. He said, wisdom, understanding. He said, knowledge. He say, he say knowledge because they don't even acknowledge him. Oh, Lord. He say knowledge. They don't even acknowledge me. He said, I'm here to free him from everything, from all sins, from everything, from sins within, from Satan. He here, to, he here to help us, save us from everything. He's a helper. And that's Max said because he gave me something else. Thank you, Lord. He gave me something out like this book and this book. But he switched something else out like this book. He had gave me something at first, and he told me to switch this. He said he has help of nations everywhere. He said, I'm over all nations. I, I help all nations everywhere, over everywhere, over every nation. He said, I'm help everywhere. He said, my spirit flow freely. He said, I'm help everywhere. Thank you, Lord. He said he will sacrifice for our sins, so let him in. He said, I'm your helper. He said, I'm your friend at your present time of help. Thank you, Lord. He said, I'm your friend at a present time of help. He said, I'm your helper. He said, all people do is come to me, I'm a helper. He said, why would you deny help? You know why he said you, do that? you deny help? He said, because you put yourself forward. He said, it's pride. Oh, Lord. He said, why would you deny help? He said, because you put yourself ahead. You put yourself, he said, you put yourself first. This is pride. He said, it's pride, 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 pride. He said, they all strive for pride, pride. Okay, Lord, pride. He said, this is a self-strive. Strive for pride. They strive for pride. The Lord said, people strive for pride. They pride. And you know, God don't like pride because you don't, you don't want to submit yourself. You don't want to humble. He said, pride. He said, I give you a God. But you pick, he said, but you choose pride. He said, I give you a God. But you choose pride. He had me to pick up the word. He said, I give you a pride. I mean, he said, I give you God. I give you all a God, but you choose pride. He said, pride within is a sin. So allow me in. He said, I'm the truth everlasting. He 
said, put your pride to the side. Put your pride to the side. He said, put your pride to the side and let's strive for greatness. Greatness in him. He said, greatness in me. Put your pride to the side and let's strive for greatness in him. Because the Lord is a helper, y'all. He said, I'm your, I'm your helper in the present time of help. Because he, remember he told us, he said, so many people are desperate. The other day, he said, so many people are desperate. And they do desperate things. And des what did he say? Desperate times do desperate measures or something? Thank you, Lord. He said, but they won't put their pride to the side. People don't want to put their pride to the side. And he said, I'm, I'm here to help you. He said, they don't want to humble themselves. Humble, Lord. They don't even want to humble themselves. He said, they don't want to put their pride to the side. The Lord said, he taking, he tearing down all idols. Y'all, they're going to put their pride to the side. He said, they're going to humble. He said, I'm destroying everything. Y'all, it was you know, I was happy at first, but then when the Lord switched it, y'all, it is what it is. I have to be obedient. He said they don't want to put their pride to the side. He said, I'm destroying everything, all idols. He said, even they had a self. He said, even yourself. So he said, people idolize themselves. He said, I'm destroying everything. He said, everything must go. Say everything you will show that everything must go. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. He said, People pride, they don't humble. He said, They pride to the side. He said, I'm here to help them, but people won't put their pride to the side. He said, They idolize. He said, People idolize. He said, I'm tearing everything down. He said, Everything must go. He said, I'm their helper. You know, God, had, he said he turned down all idols, y'all. And then last night I seen, and the Lord was telling us stuff about hunger and droughts and famines and all that. Last night I looked for y'all. He had me to look on, I'm going to put the link at the bottom, in Kenya. I remember he had me with a dream, and I was talking about this woman, and she was talking about um, about when God was talking about our faith. And I had the dream about the woman. The women were sitting in there with their kids and was talking about they couldn't travel to Kenya because they um they couldn't travel to Kenya because their kids or something, something with their kids, and they couldn't travel to Kenya. Why the Lord showed me Kenya last night? They got a drought over there. Camels, animals dying, people starving, children starving. They got a drought. Ain't no food. Nothing, there's so much going over there. A drought happened. They dying of thirst and hunger. It's dried up. I'm going to put the link at the bottom. The Lord showed me last night. And he said, remember I told you in your dream about Kenya? So I just want to bring this to y'all. He said, I told you it was going to be pestilence and, and all kind of stuff happening on the earth. I told y'all, God. He told me, he bringing me back. He said, remember when I showed you that, uh, that angel falling, I mean, not angel coming from um, heaven. And I told y'all about that. That one lady was in my comments, said something about a comment was going to hit. And the Lord said, that was one of the seals and stuff I told y'all. He said, that was one of the seals that broke him. He sent that down. That angel, that seal of trumpet, whatever he told me that day, he bring that back to me. Now look back and look at that now see how the world turned. Everything changed. He a man, he never lied. He bring it back to me. He's showing me right now that um, fireball, that was an angel that came down. And he said, that was one of the seals, one of the seals and the trumpet, because he said he's doing two things at one time. He told us. He brought it back. He said, didn't things change after that? That tornado and everything happened? Stuff started changing drastically. It all happened fast. Every day is something. He said, I set that up on the earth. I told you. He took me back to it. So, yeah, I'm just no God doing things on the earth. And he's telling me about hunger. He told us about this going to be a war. Let's go. He told me.
Let me go back to Matthew 23, y'all. I got 24. Let's go. He got me right now to Matthew. Matthew, Luke, John. Let's go to Matthew right now. <sighs> the signs of end age. Let's go back. He said, he still got me going right here. He said, take heed, no one deceive you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. And will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For the nations will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, precedence, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginnings of sorrow. And the Lord said, you see when talking about wars and wars and rumors of wars? He said, remember he told us last night, he said a war going to be created about the un, against the, I mean, the, against the un, he said, this is a war. He said, all these going to be wars. And he showed me in the world of the Bible that one day, it's a riot. Riots would happen back in, in the Bible days. He told me. He showed it in the scripture to me in the Bible. It was riots happening in the Bible days. But he said, these are wars. When they brought the race card, he said, all this is Satan. He said, these wars and wars and rumors of wars. These wars and wars and rumors of wars, because people talking about it. It's rumors. They're discussing it. He told me, he said, these are rumors. People discussing it, but they're wars and wars against wars. These are wars and wars. It's going to be a fizzle, you know, a big war. But he said, all oh, these are wars, bringing people against each other. He said, the race club. He said, the LGBT club. He said, when they had the police officers against whatever. He said, um, the un against the vaccinated. And um, it was another war he told us, LGBTQ. He said, all these, when he, he gave us all going on the earth, he said, these are wars. These are people against each other. He said, these are wars. People don't understand it. He said, people looking for a big war. He said, yeah, that's coming. He said, but these are wars. People against each other. Nations against nation. Kingdom against kingdom, which Satan and... He said, these are all wars. Having people, everybody against each other. He showed me it was riots back then. In the Bible. He said, these are wars. He just told me this. He said, go back to Matthew. And he told me, these are wars. And rumors of wars. People talking about it. Thank you, Dad. These are all the beginning of sorrows, these birth planes. That right there, that was the beginning. When all that started, when the star kicked it off, about the race car and all this, when they did, when they, with that George Floyd, that would kick it off. That started the war. He said wars and wars, rumors of wars. Talk about it, everybody talking about it, rumors. So he just brought this back to us. He said that's the beginning of sorrow. He said, but we close, he said right here, the signs of time and at the end of age, it started right there. People ain't really understanding. He said it started right there. First when the coronavirus came out. Then it started with this. It all started. With that, he said. He said that's why it started it. That's the wars. Wars, wars. One was war. Everybody against each other. That's what it is. He said, but my people perish for lack of knowledge. He give us wisdom. His understanding. Thank you, Dad. But... You doing things on earth and people understand it. Tornadoes, everything. And he said, yeah, Satan. I tell you, Satan going to do things too because you know they're doing stuff. He said, when he told me one day, he said, um, you see how the weather and stuff changed? He said, Satan doing some of this too. He said, but you'll know the difference from me. Mine's are more powerful than what Satan doing. He told us that. So be aware, y'all. He's a copycat. He said, and people be angry at him, but he got to do what he got to do. Because Satan wanted to be so hard because he want people to break down. And like the word said, people going to make it so hard. He want to make it so hard for people. Now, just imagine if the Lord, thank you, Lord, for being in the picture. Now, just imagine if the Lord went in the picture. We be, we'll be doomed. Thank the Lord. He'll help us. Thank you, Dad. I thank the Lord. Because we'll be all doomed, y'all. We didn't have no help. No help at all. He all helpful. And I thank him. I thank the Most High. It started with him to send his son down. He's telling us right now. He sent the son down to help us. Thank you, Dad. Help us all the way. He even crucified. He crucified. He was, he was crucified on the cross and died for our sins. So he could still save us. Still send us help. But he said people... People are selfish. I mean, they 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 
don't, they prideful. They, they don't want to accept this help. Not everybody, but you know, the ones that don't, you become his enemy. So you get destroyed. So that's why we got to stay focused, y'all. Stay into the Lord. Stay close to the Lord, y'all. He's going to protect us. He's going to take care of us. Don't idolize nothing. But idolize nobody but the most high and his son. Because if, if you don't, you become his enemy. And he destroying all enemies, all idols. He just he destroying it. And we know in the Antichrist come, it says in the, in the word that it's going to be so hard. And you know why it's going to be so hard? Because the Lord fight and he fight. It's a war. Still a war. It's going to be so hard and people going to bow down to the Antichrist. They're going to think somebody's going to come and save them. And just don't know the Lord is our Savior. And they're going to bow down to it. That's why you got to still have a relationship with the Lord because he's here to save us. He all help us. Always. He even sent us his Holy Spirit to help us. So, the Lord had to take me to that. To Matthew 20, 24. To give us that, what he wanted to tell us right there, y'all. Thank you, Dad. So, just know all this stuff going on. And he said people going to be killing each other. People going to be killing each other about this. Because they don't want it to be so normal. Things going to be going on. He said not only that, they're going to be killing people for hunger. He said people going to be cannibalistic. It's all kind of stuff going to be going on. It's in the word of the Lord. So it's going to be war all the time. That war happened right there. When it happened, when that George Floyd thing opened up. That was the beginning of sorrows. Thank you, Dave. So it's going to be war continuous, outstanding. It's going to come up with something, something, something. Because if the world got to come to an end. But people against each other and he's saying together we stand divided we fall they're going to keep on coming up with something it's going to be a war 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 fighting for food everything hunger it's going to be a war so y'all understand so what you got us going on Lord So he got me in Zechariah, right? And in Zechariah, he called him for people to repent. Because on the thing, it said a call to repentance. So he got me in Zechariah first. First he had me going to something else and he switched it. So let's see what the Lord is going to say. In the eighth month of the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, the son of Barsha, the son of Idol, and Idol the prophet, saying, The Lord has been very angry with your fathers. Therefore say to them, said the Lord of hosts, Return to me, said the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, said the Lord of hosts. See, the Lord said, You return to me, I'll return to you. He called people to come back to him. You abide in me, and I'll abide in you. He called he telling people to come back to him. <sighs> Do not be like your fathers, to whom the former prophet preached, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Turn now from your evil ways and your evil deeds. But they did not hear, nor heed, nor heed me, said the Lord. Don't be like them. Your father, where are they? Your, <coughs> your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? 